We will start with the field blur. Field blur is used to build a gradient of blurs by defining multiple blur points with different amounts of blur. Pins are used to set blur areas and can be used to add more blur or keep blur away from certain areas if a setting of zero is chosen. In this example, there is a default blur pin that makes the entire image slightly blurry by default, and you can see that on the left-hand side of the screen. I simply applied a, blur, um, a field blur, and without doing anything else, it made the entire screen slightly blurry. Then on the top right example, there is a blur pin that has been set to zero, and by setting a blur pin to zero, it forced the area around the blur pin not to be blurred at all. And so you can see that we added some crispness or some focus back into the image by setting a second blur pin and having that setting be set to zero. The last blur pin, the intensity has been increased, causing the background to distort beyond recognition. And so the third pin that we are showcasing here is basically the same as the first pin, except for this one I have uh, moved the slider back and forth to the right to increase the amount of pixels that are being blurred around the blur pin. And you can see that you could slide it even further if you wanted to, and it would become more and more out of focus and more and more beyond recognition. Let's jump over to Photoshop and I will show you how I did this. I have opened the same image that was in the slideshow and you can find that on our Open Graphic Arts website. To apply a field blur, you can go to the filter menu, choose the blur gallery and then field blur. And by default, you will get one pin and it will have um, a slight blur to it. If we take a look at the blur tools uh, panel that appears when you're applying a blur filter via the blur gallery, you can increase the amount of blur until the image is completely beyond recognition or you could move it all the way to the left and when it's set to zero you're not going to have any blur and so in combination with multiple blur pins you could use this method to maybe blur the background of the image if I move the blur pin over here to the right maybe apply another blur pin on the left and then one on the right for the image I want to keep in focus if we lower the number of pixels being blurred to zero, we can bring the front flower back in focus while allowing the background to remain out of focus. You can even go back and click on these pins again and you can increase the amount of blur. And so you can see that maybe I want the background to be completely beyond recognition and so I can apply multiple pins to the background. As you do this you might find that you need to apply more and more pins. For example, the bottom part of my main uh, flowers out of focus. If I apply another blur pin there and set the zero, uh, the blur to zero, I can bring that back in focus. Maybe we do that for the top as well. And you can go back and forth until you have the right combination of out of focus and in focus areas on your image. 